Hello, my name is Aaron Condon. I am a social studies teacher here at Heron High School. And I want to welcome you to a somewhat unconventional Meet the Teacher Night. Uh, but nevertheless, I hope that this video proves to be a useful tool for you and your children as you guys navigate through this school year here for 2021-2022. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about some of the classes that I teach this semester, as well as my background information, my education, and perhaps most importantly, why I love teaching what I teach. Uh, the classes that I'm currently teaching this semester are U.S. Government, which is kind of a mainstay for me. I teach that class every single semester, uh, and I have since I've arrived at Heron High School. Similarly, I teach political science as well. Taught that since I've been at Heron High School, although that is only a one semester class. Uh, and that is coupled with its other spring semester counterpart, Ethnic Studies. Um, this is my sixth year in the classroom teaching and my fifth year at Heron High School. Uh, and aside from those particular teaching assignments, I am also the sponsor of Heron's Black Cultural Union, which I am incredibly excited about. Uh, I have been the sponsor of BCU since I arrived at Heron five years ago. Um, this is a space for all, all students from all backgrounds to come and feel, uh, you know, safe in sharing their own experiences um, and feel that they, you know, are, are certainly supported within the classroom and on campus here at Heron High School. So let me talk to you a little bit about my background information first, and then we'll kind of break down why I teach the classes that I teach. Uh, a little background on me. I am uh, a Huger, born and, and bred. Uh, I grew up in Anderson, Indiana. I spent seven uh, years down in Nashville, Tennessee, so I was able to get away from Indiana for a little bit. But nevertheless, I have returned. My wife and I decided to move back, um, well, I guess five years uh, ago, and um, we haven't regretted it. Um, I am a musician. Uh, I have been a musician since I was in middle school and uh, high school. I play the drums and uh, have been in various bands. Um, spent a lot of time post high school thinking that uh, that was what I would do for the rest of my life. And obviously, uh, there was a different path in mind for me, uh, which certainly I'm not upset about. Aside from my passion for music and drumming specifically, I am a huge fan of bicycles. Um, I think all of my students know this because, well, number one, I have a, a tattoo of a bike on my arm. But aside from that, I always share some pictures uh, of me riding and stuff. I ride BMX, which is a little odd uh, for a 34-year-old teacher. Um, but the kids always enjoy seeing me wreck on that bike. I think they get a kick out of that. Um, so those are a few of my, my huge, some of the most important interests, I suppose, in my life uh, and things that I love to share with my kids. I love to hear music recommendations from kids. Um, There's so many artists and bands in the world that I just can't possibly keep up with. So I look to my students sometimes to get some of that advice on what to listen to. Um, in terms of my education, I have a bachelor's in liberal studies from Belmont University in um, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I have an emphasis in history and sociology and a minor in education. Um, I think my experience at Belmont is one of the most formative experiences for me in terms of kind of, you know, who the teacher, uh, the type of teacher that I am uh, and have become over the years, I think is very much um, shaped by my experience at Belmont. I've had uh, very fortunate enough to have two professors in particular, um, respectively in history and sociology that uh, kind of not only shaped my worldview, but also kind of shaped my pedagogical view and how I think um, history and sociology and, uh, you know, some very specific, somewhat contentious discussions like race or um, you know, like socioeconomic status and things of that nature, uh, you know, how we teach those things in the classroom, again, very much shaped by my experience with uh, these two particular professors at Belmont. So for that, I am deeply grateful. Um, I'm very, very thankful for the education that I've had. Uh, and I think that without it, I certainly wouldn't be the teacher that I am today. Um, aside from my background and aside from uh, you know, my educational background, talk a little bit about some of the courses that I'm currently teaching right now. Uh, so as I said, United States government is a mainstay for me. I teach that every semester. 
Um, it is my, uh, I guess it's kind of my wheelhouse, so to speak. It's, it's arguably my, I kind of alternate back and forth, but arguably this is my favorite class to teach. Um, I love this class so much because I think now, perhaps more than ever, uh, it is critically important that young people understand how to navigate some really difficult conversations that are happening, uh, you know, around, around our country right now. Um, the ultimate goal here, of course, is to foster civic engagement to get kids not only willing to participate in our democratic process, but excited to do so. And sometimes that's difficult, sometimes that's easier, but nevertheless, that challenge is always uh, a lot of fun and something that I look forward to in this class. Um, we analyze government structure and function, of course, talk, of course, about each branch of government. Um, this scope in U.S. government is very much exclusive to American politics. Uh, so we work kind of within the confines of what happens here in the U.S., as you can guess by that title. Uh, but nevertheless, we spend a lot of time trying to really understand exactly what's going on in the world. Um, and that is very difficult sometimes, uh, especially right now, because I'm not sure that I really understand what's happening in the world right now. But uh, I do my best to help my students kind of uh, find their own way through that. My job is to kind of facilitate uh, that process for them. Uh, similarly with political science, you know, it, it's very much, as, you, as the name again suggests, it's very much focused on politics, except in this particular course, we take more of a global or international perspective rather than kind of focusing exclusively on the US. So I think kids really enjoy kind of getting that, that global uh, worldview um, that we don't necessarily have time to dive into with US government. Um, of course, in political science, we spend a great deal of time uh, working on political analysis and assessment. Our basic, basically our job is to uh, better understand political phenomena and more importantly, better understand why political phenomena happens and occurs. Um, that's ultimately the goal here, is to attempt to provide answers to the why questions. Why do these things happen? Why is this the way that things kind of uh, exist in the world in regards of you know, the political world? Um, aside from those things, uh, I also wanna share with you a little bit of information in regards to how to contact me, uh, as well as my office hour schedule. Uh, my contact information is acondon at uh, heronhighschool.org, or rather that's my email address. Um, my location, my teaching location, uh, that is my classroom, is in Russell Hall, uh, room 120. So I'm right inside when you walk in and see Miss Payne uh, at the student services desk. I'm right there behind her desk uh, at the front doors. Um, my office hours are Wednesday and Thursday mornings. I know that's not ideal for everybody. Uh, I have a little one. I have a two-year-old that's in daycare right now, and I have to pick her up in the afternoon. So unfortunately, I'm unavailable in the afternoon. But uh, my, my morning office hours are from 8 a.m. to 8.40. Again, that is Wednesday and Thursday. Um, of course, if those times don't work for you or your students or your children, I should say, uh, please reach out to me via email. I'm happy to set up other times. If need be, we can always Zoom, uh, but we can make other times work if that Wednesday or Thursday morning slot doesn't work for you or your family. Um, I hope that information is helpful. That was kind of a crash course and uh, a bunch of different things there regarding you know myself, my background, the courses that I teach, my contact info, and all that stuff. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, if you want to reach out, I welcome that please shoot me an email. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get to know you and your children uh, this semester. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon.